Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make, how to draw the Lewis dot structure for uh, H2O, everybody's favorite uh, molecule. So let's go ahead and get started. We have H2O, and that gives us, we have 2 times um, 1 valence electron for each hydrogen plus oxygen, which has 6, so that's going to give us 8 valence electrons. So, obviously, we're going to have, because there's only one oxygen, we're going to have, and since hydrogens can't bond, or have or be in the center, they can definitely bond, we're going to have uh, oxygen in the center, and two H's. So, we're going to put a bond there, single bond there, so it's two single bonds. So, we had eight, now let's go ahead and subtract four electrons, and then that leaves us with four, because each bond consists of two electrons. And now we're going to put on two there and two there. Now remember I, I use this, this little bar here and that signifies the two of two electrons and two also here. So here's two, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons and that's going to be our total number of, ele of, of electrons for the water molecule. So that's what the valence or the uh, Lewis draught structure looks like. So um, basically because it's going to have, based on this drawing, oxygen is the center atom, it has AX, now there's two hydrogen atoms attached, so that's AX2, and there's also two electron pairs that are attached. So, that means that it's going to be AX2E2. So, how, what does that shape mean? What does that look like? Well, that means it's AX2E2, so this shape is going to be um, a bent shape and the uh, bond angles are going to be one of 105 degrees um, okay so now we can uh, go ahead and look at the or the uh, hybrid orbit orbitals for the oxygen so there's one two three four things so sp3 is the uh, hybrid orbitals and just let's go ahead and check the uh, formal charges here so formal charge for the oxygen so remember formal charge is the number of valence electrons brought in which is six minus the number of uh, bonding pairs so there's one two so minus two and then minus the number of unpaired electrons one two three four so minus four and that gives us zero and then we can check the formal charge on the hydrogens and they'll be the same since it's the same setup on both sides so formal charge it brings in one minus one bond minus zero unpaired electrons that because it's zero so those are both going to be good so that means that since the formal charges are zero it's going to be a good setup now we can check how the whether or not this is polar and obviously this is going to be polar because of the lone electron pairs on top of the oxygen so uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments or send me a message. And thanks for watching.